Welcome to our 2022 season. My name is Madeline Easton and I'm Artistic Director and Founder of Bach Academy Australia. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our 2022 season and what we have planned for you this year. I've titled this program Bach and the Art of Dialogue and I've done this because I personally feel that the art of conversation and dialogue could not be more relevant to where we find ourselves today. And in these programs throughout the year, we really tried to shine a light on Bach's incredible ability to hold a musical dialogue in every single work that he wrote. We have four beautiful programs for you this year. The first of which is our long postponed East Oratorio. Now we've been trying to present this program to you for the last two years, but sadly due to the pandemic, we were prevented from doing so. Now COVID permitting, we will be performing this beautiful program of two of his Easter Leipzig cantatas BWV 6 and 42, showing both sides of the Easter story and his absolutely uplifting and jubilant Easter oratorio. For the first time, we'll be going out to Western Sydney to perform at the Joan Sutherland Performing Arts Centre in Penrith, which will be a huge privilege for us to go to that part of Sydney and perform these beautiful works out there. Our second program of the year is titled The Weapons of Rhetoric, and it's all inspired by my great friend and colleague, Judy Tarling's book, on the subject. This is one of those books that totally blew my mind and really, really opened up the importance of dialogue and speech and rhetoric and how the idea of speech and music could be so interrelated and so important to one another. So in this program, we really shine a light on how Bach could take, for example, one violin and create a four part dialogue on a monophonic instrument and also how we could create a six part fugue in the, in the six part ritchica of the musical offering. We are also going to present his beautiful double violin concerto and the wonderful Australian violinist, Julia Fredersdorf will be joining us for that. In our third program of the year, we shine a light on those incredibly important musical influences Bach had around him at the time. We present music of his great heroes, Buxtehude, Vivaldi, Telemann, but also his uncle, Johann Christoph Bach, who was a huge influence in his early life, and also his great family friend, Johann Pachelbel, who wrote so much incredible music, which sadly isn't known due to the popularity of, well, I don't have to tell you which one. It's going to be a fantastic look at the orbital people he had around him and how he inf those people influenced him. Now, we will be joined by the wonderful Australian countertenor, Max Rebel, who will be singing throughout this program. For our fourth program of the year, I've titled it Grazie in Grazia, which in Latin really does represent the concept of thanksgiving. Now, back in the 1630s, Europe was suffering through a horrendous outbreak of the plague. And the great Italian composer Claudio Monteverdi, at the end of the outbreak in the 1630s, wrote this incredible mass of thanksgiving, just to give thanks for the end of this horrific period in everybody's lives. Now we've just been through the same thing 300 and something years later, and we are so pleased to be able to present his massive thanksgiving, just an acknowledgement of what we've all been through over the last two years of our lives. This is an incredible work, very spiritual and very, 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 very in the spirit of thanksgiving. Now we start in Italy and then we take you on a journey through to Germany via Schutz, who was Monteverdi's pupil and Bach's teacher. And we end up in Germany, in Leipzig, presenting Bach's wonderfully uplifting and probably one of his greatest Christmas cantatas, BWV 63. We will be making our debut in the City Recital Hall at the end of the year, which is so exciting. But we really hope you'll join us this year throughout our, all of our full program of concerts we have for you. Join the dialogue, join the conversation. We'll be holding many online events which we invite you all to join in this wonderful idea of a dialogue, a rich and you know, life-affirming dialogue about music, about life, about history, about where we are today. So please join us this year. We really look forward to seeing you all.